Yeah. Good boy! There's two white things over there though. That's so funny. Oh my goodness. Welcome to another episode of The Epic Family Road Trip. Hmm? Do you know what movie that is? When he's grinding the coffee and he's like, because it's taking so long for me to check. Oh, Dances with Wolves. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. white things over there though. That's so funny. Oh my goodness. Sheep. One's huge. The other one's mid size. I can't see the back end of the other one. There might be more. There's one laying down that's really big yeah. and then there's two. Good morning guys. We are out here in the middle of the beautiful desert. Um, Carol with her eagle eyes saw some bighorn sheep on that mountain and they're they're grazing up there but uh wonderful sleep completely quiet once that storm blew through yesterday the rain it was just uh still and beautiful we're really enjoying our time out here and uh, the way it is in the desert in this time of year it cools off at night almost to freezing i, I think it was three celsius so that'd be like 30 35 fahrenheit or something but then as soon as the sun comes up, whew, it just starts to warm up. So it's, uh, it's really a special place. If you ever get a chance to get down here to Southern Arizona, it's, uh, the wilderness is just so huge um, and there's trails everywhere. So one of our favorite places. Oh, those sheep still there? Oh. The biggest one's laying down. There's three other that are just kind of walking around with their own male. The big one is really big. I'm sitting right there. Whenever we start glassing, Lando knows something's up. But he was barking um, when we were making coffee, so that's probably what he smelled was those uh, four bighorn sheep. Oh, yeah, like a big curl. Oh, my word. All of them have it, but the one laying down is the biggest. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. That is beautiful. I think you'd want to mess with those.
because of where they would love that friend. If we do it, okay, little boy. Lando doesn't really like wearing booties, but uh, in these conditions, he just now got another uh, thorn or cactus into his foot. And, really obviously doesn't like that either so we're gonna put the boots back on and see see what happens Lando loves running free in all kinds of conditions. Whether it's across a snow or ice covered lake or on a rocky trail, he always prefers to run barefoot. Here in the desert, however, there are so many sharp objects that it's best he wears his boots. It always takes him a while to get used to them again. Come on! Come on, little guy! Good boy! Come on! First, he'll just stand there. Then, he'll do some high stepping. Good boy! <laughs> Then he begins an awkward run, stopping from time to time to make adjustments. Eventually he gets used to them, and off he goes. So it goes into a wash which is easily drivable but there's a lot of brush on either side so we're just going to check and see if we can squeak through there or maybe trim up a few branches. Let's go check it out. Yeah, definitely have to trim back a few branches. You can see that they've been trimmed over the years but not quite enough to get the truck through. So about five sections and then right ahead there it cuts off back to the main trail. So. Let's get this off. You lost a boot. Can you go get it? We've had those boots for so long. Okay, I think we've gone as far as we can go without cutting. So we're just going to go tree by tree. 
we'll try to get around them but in this case I don't think we can so just a couple of limbs and uh, we'll carry on to the next one Head to the next one. I used to be a professional arborist. This is what I did for a living. So I'm not going to harm the trees at all. Some of you might be worried about that. It's like a pruning of the trees, making the proper cuts, mostly removing the dead stubs because that's. These small ones will just brush off the truck and don't do any damage. We're not worried about those. It's the thick ones that have been cut in the past that we're trimming off. All right, now that we're out of that wash, we're gonna take a minute and just look around for Lando's lost boot. It could be right along the wash, but you never know with him because he can cover a lot of ground, but hopefully it's right here. Um, not that they're expensive, but uh, Amazon don't deliver to the back country. So let's go find it. So we've been looking all over and just can't find it, which is really disappointing. Um, Mehi only has three, three booties, but um, I just hate losing things out on the trails because it's like you see things on the trail sometimes and you're like, how did that get there? A random object. And it's probably just by accident for the most part, like in this case, but still, you never want to be the one leaving something behind. And there's lots more trail ahead, and now he only has three boots. So we'll have to pick and choose when he goes out from here on out until we can go to a, a big town and buy another set. Thanks to everyone who told us about the pronunciation of these big beautiful cacti and I think it's saguaro or saguaro but uh, and also these little guys are chia not chilla and we said gila, gila monster but apparently you don't pronounce the G or the L so it's more like hia monster you learn something new every day
So the boys took the Jeep in down one of these trails to see if they can find a good camp spot. And uh, they usually do that whether they have the Jeep or the bikes, uh, sometimes faster, more nimble. And then if they like it, we uh, take the truck in. But let's see what they say. Uh, no camp spots, like they, nothing that looked like someone had been there, but the trail seemed old, like it was a side-by-side -side trail back in the day. So it is actually a nice spot. It goes to some flat, really level ground out there in a nice, uh, like, windless area. But it hasn't been disturbed in a long time, so okay. really probably the first one's on there in a while. Might be better than uh, just to find that, that other trail where we saw some existing fire pits. Look at this, Pete. Hmm. Snakeskin. That's gross. It almost looks like it gets to the uh, head or something. It does look like the head, because look at the, the back. Mm -hmm. We're using an existing fire pit. We never like to create fire pits. And if we ever do, we take them away. Um, we don't currently have like a solar stove or something along those lines. We're gonna probably get one, especially as we move westward some, some places. The only fires you're allowed to create are off the ground. But there's an existing fire here that the, the people have been using for years. So we feel comfortable making a fire there tonight.
snotty pump. Hey Lindo, come here, you want to lay by the fire? Come here, come sit by the fire, good boy, lie down, good boy, yeah, 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 down, down, good boy, there you go, cozy rosy, yeah, it's a good boy, that's a good guy right there, that's a good guy right there, yes, he is, that's a good fella. Good Good for fur and quick. Yeah, I'll roll his back back up. So I just snapped the asparagus and I'm cutting up the mushrooms for on the steaks. I'm going to be making a chimichurri to go on top of it. So we were able to find some beautiful steaks and they're almost to room temperature and so I'll open them up and I'll just season them with salt and pepper. I'm going to be making a lot of this chimichurri so that we can have it over the week. So normally you'd probably do one third of a cup, but I'm just kind of doubling it. Some of you use um, parsley, but I'm not that fond of parsley. I mean, I like it, but not as much as I like cilantro. If you have time, make this the night before. Um, or a couple hours before. I think we might have about an hour. That's okay, but um, two hours would have been okay, better, and just store it in the fridge and let it just kind of marinate. My goodness, the next morning 
if you have it with your breakfast. Oh, heaven. That's so good. That's gonna go so nicely on the steaks with that fire flavor on them. It will be wonderful. So I'm just gonna let pop this in the fridge for an hour or so, and uh, then it will be even more tasty. We've got a nice hot fire burnt down to coals. I've got one of the cast iron pans and a, a, a grill that's been heating up. I just tested it with a splash of water and it uh, seems perfect. So I'm gonna go get steaks. Carol's been prepping everything, making her delicious uh, chimichurri. And so let's get the steaks on and get them going. We, we, we want it piping hot because we're gonna cook them for you know a short amount of time on either side to sear them and then end up uh, with a nice medium rare steak. These are local grass-fed steaks, so really excited for this meal. All right, I'll come get the other ones. Okay. All right, that bread looks perfect. I'm going to get it off the heat. Give these steaks another two and a half minutes. All right, so we're just going to let these rest for, I don't know, probably 10 minutes and let all the juices settle down and that should be delicious.
chillier than normal, but it's still nice. Oh, that's so nice. I hope you enjoyed that really simple meal. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> um, I think we're going to go and get the boys now and let them come and eat with us. Yeah, their steaks are ready. A little colder than you'd expect for this time of year in Arizona, I guess. I mean, we're not experts, but I think they're expecting a bit of a cold front blowing through. So um, we're toasty warm in our vehicles and by the fire here tonight. So we're just going to enjoy the steak and then uh, spend a bit of time around the fire and then we'll look at uh, get on Gaia GPS tonight and kind of search out our next trail. We're, we've been looking at some spots, maybe waterfront. There's some lakes here in the region, so that'd be kind of fun. So stay tuned. We've got lots of exciting trails and adventures ahead. Hey, Dan, you want to come and eat? I wonder if he fell asleep. <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it. It's been a long day. The next morning, we woke up to a beautiful and unexpected sight in this part of the country. Overnight, a dusting of snow fell in the high elevations of the surrounding mountains. It was short-lived, however, as the warm Arizona sun quickly melted the snow and cleared away the clouds, revealing another beautiful day in the desert. At the end of the week, I like to use up all the vegetables that are kind of going bad. And so we added um, some leftover asparagus, zucchini, and some onion to the potatoes for this morning. I think Daniel's growing because he's been sleeping a lot lately. But uh, this will wake him up. He loves hash browns.
we'll see you down the road.